Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today, in this tutorial, I will show you how to apply animation to the text. In order to apply the animation, just go to the animation tab. Here, to apply the animation, select the text and go to animate option. Here, we have some default animations that is fade, wipe and fly in. If you want to apply custom animation, then select the text and go to custom animation option. In custom animation option, here we have add effect. In add effect, we have four types of animations, namely entrance, emphasis, exit and motion path. I will apply it one after another. First, I will apply the entrance. In entrance, we have initially 9 effects. If you want more effects, just click on more effects and apply the different effects. Here I can see that if I click fly, the text is going to fly in our slide. Likewise, we can select these many animation effects. I am selecting fly in and just click on OK. Once we select the animation, here I can modify the effect. I can select when to start my animation, whether it should work on mouse click or it should work on the previous animation or after the previous animation or with previous animation. And for time being, I am going to select on click. Likewise, I can also select the direction. Here I can select the left direction. I can also select the right direction. Likewise, we can select the different directions here. And we can also select the speed of animation. We have these many speed of animations. I can select very slow. Here we can see that the text is entering to the slide with a very less speed. Likewise, I can also select the fast and the fast. This is about entrance animation. Let's see how emphasis animation works. In emphasis, we have these seven effects. If you want more effects, just click on more effects. And here we have different effects which emphasis or which emphasize our text in the PowerPoint slides. If I select the spin option, it spins my text. Likewise, we have different different options we can choose based on our requirement. Again, for time being, I am going to select the spin option. Click on OK. As I said you earlier, we can also modify this effect. Here, we can select based on click or with previous slide or after previous effect. I can also select the rotation angle. I can select half spin. I can make it my text to rotate for 180 degree. I can also make it to rotate in 360 degree or I can also select the angle of the rotation here. Likewise, I can also select the speed, the speed of my rotation. This is about emphasis animation. And now let's see how exit animation works. This is about exit animation. We have 5 basic exit animation. If you want more animation, just click on more effects. We have these many exit effects animation. For time being, again I am going to select this layout. Let's see how it works. If you want, we can also select the different one. This is how the text exits from our slide. Again, I am going to select the flyout and click on OK. As I said you previous, we can also modify our effects with the help of these tabs. Here we can see that after applying the different animations, we have got some numbers. The first number it highlights here it belongs to entrance, second number that belongs to emphasis, and third number this belongs to exit animation. Let's let's see 
how all these animation works. Play it once again. If you want to make it very slow, make it very slow. This is how these all animation works. Now coming to the last one. Okay, if you want to remove the animation, it's very simple. Just select the animation and click on. Just select the animation and click on remove. Here we can see that that option is removed. Likewise, we can also reorder this animation. For instance, if I want to send the second animation to first position, select the animation and click on reorder. Let's play. We can see that the first emphasis animation is played. After that, the entrance animation is played here. In motion path option, we have these many options. If you want more motion paths, just click on more motion paths. Here we can select the different motion paths. Let's see, just select the circle. If we select the circle animation, our text is going to rotate or turn in circle fashion. Similarly, if I select heart, it's going to it's going in heart direction. Likewise, I can also select the different, different animations. Once I select the my required animation, just click on OK. Again, if I want to remove this, select the animation, click on remove. We have one more option in motion path that is draw path. Here we can draw the line, we can also draw the curve, we can also draw the tree, form path, we can also scribble. The animation. For instance, I will take the simple line. Here I will draw it, hold the shift button and draw this line. Let's see. Play it once again. Yes. This is how the motion part works. Dear viewers, now I will explain you how to apply the animation to each character. Instead of applying the animation to entire text, Let's see how to do it. Just select the animation. Here I am selecting the first animation. It belongs to the entrance animation. Just click on this drop down menu and go to effect options. Here I have three options again effect, timing, and text animation. In effect option, I can select the direction of the text animation. For instance, I will choose from left. I can also select this smooth start and smooth end. I can also apply the different sounds to the animation. I will take arrow sound and this is after animation. How should be our text be after animation? I will make it more change the color and I will make the color as blue. And one more important option, animate text option we have here. We can apply it all at once. You can apply it by word or you can apply it by letter. I will choose by letter and click on OK. Now let's see how it works. Just click on play button. Then we can see that the letters are entering one after another and the text color is changed to blue. Likewise, I can also apply this effect to entire word and we can also change the color. Just click on OK. Here we can see that the color is changed. If you want to repeat this animation multiple times, just go to the effect options and go to timings. Here I can select the number of times the animation repeats. Here I can select two times, four times, and so on. For instance, I'll select two. I can also select the delay time. I can also select the time of speed. For instance, I have selected as 2, that means it's going to repeat for 2 times and click on OK. Let's see, one time again it's going to repeat for second time. In this way, we apply the different animation to make our PowerPoint very attractive to the audience. Thank you.